Hi guys, what's up? My name is Saurav and welcome to another video of Volume Solutions. And this video I'm going to show you all how you can add a validation for uh, the file that you're uploading in your application. So I'm just going to add a validation using JavaScript. So how you can do it basically. So to add a validation using JavaScript, so I'm just going to quickly open Visual Studio Code and I'm just going to choose uh, or open any folder over here. I'll just go to documents and I'll just create a folder over here uh, using just like uh, name file validation let's say and uh, here after creating it I'll just choose it select folder and I trust the author and now what we can do is that we can just create a new file here so I'm just gonna choose index.html uh, and uh, we're gonna just be using the boiler template over here so once we're done with that we're just gonna be uh, writing our code in order to upload the file so we have like the bootstrap that I've already opened over uh, it over here so I'm just gonna copy it and I'm just gonna paste it over here since we are not using bootstrap you know uh, the CDN link so it will not be opening the bootstrap will not work over here but the input file that we can see it here so in order to execute the application so if you're working on your uh, office machine so probably you don't have admin access in your computer so what you can do is that you can install an extension uh, to open the application to run the application basically that is basically a uh, live server so if we'll just go to the extension over here and you can see that i've already installed like this live server so once you install this you will be able to launch the application without running any command you know like the npm start and all you don't have to do the all of those uh so what is the next step basically so if i'll just right click on it and if i'll just click go with open with live server so you can see that like the application will be opening is starting and uh, is working on port number this and you can see that this is a uh, import the upload file that we have so we're gonna be adding a javascript uh you know code in order to uh check the validation over here so i'm just gonna choose submit and you can see that there's no such validation uh that is coming up over here so i'm just gonna write a uh, you know the javascript uh like uh, query so the query that is already created I've already created it so I'm just gonna copy it and paste it over here somewhere and this is the file guys and here I'm just gonna add an event that is basically on change event so basically if there will be any change on the value uh, you know on this file so this event will be triggered and you know uh, this code will be executed so I'm just gonna add this validation size and you know uh, within the bracket so that will be uh, you know whatever value that we are uploading will just pass the value there in the validation so once we're done with it and now if I'll just try to execute it uh, you know it'll just work properly and if I'll just choose submit and you can see that just giving in valid image format only JP, jpeg and jpg format allowed and if I'll just try to choose any format which is more than 200 kb so I'll just give me and prompt that the file is too large maximum 200 kb is allowed so what exactly we are doing it over here so we are just creating a const you know uh, just the file size we are taking it over here we are just dividing with 1024 if you like to divide it you know uh, just check it using the kb or the mbs so you can probably you know uh, just again divide it uh, by 1024 so that will basically given the mb so right now it is just uh, given uh, giving and uh, the size in kb is basically and uh, accordingly the file file is getting validated so i've just created an extension over here that is basically which is taking an input as dot jpg and uh, jpeg and once that is validated so if this this kind of format is not available over here so just giving an uh, an alert that is basically invalid image format only jpeg dot jpg format allowed if you'd like to add a new kind of format that is basically a jpng or any other format bmp so you can add those you know within this array and you can just probably uh, according to the validation will work and uh, you know the uh, you will get a prompt an alert basically while uploading the file over here and uh, once that is done so first you have to check like what is the extension of the file and accordingly once that is passed that will just go to the else if uh, if the file size is more than more than 200 kb so since i'm using here as a kb but if you like to add it work if you want the code to be worked as in mb so you can just divide it 1024 and accordingly you can just put the val validate the file size over here and accordingly you can just make the changes like the file is too large or maximum 200 kb or 2 mb whatever you'd like to do you can just click 
basically or you can just do it and you would in order to clear the uh, fields basically you can just do use this uh, code in order to uh, you know of uh, once the file is uploaded and if that is not validation validation is getting failed so the file the uh, the input field will be cleared uh, using this code so this is how you can just uh, you know uh, put a validation guys using J javascript uh, like the jquery basically and uh, you can just basically you know uh, validate it basically so this basically this is a video which is for J jquery sorry i mentioned wrong in the earlier uh, on the start that i'm going to show it using javascript so this is basically jquery that i have used over it over here so yeah uh, I've used just on change function it over here. So yeah, this is how you can just validate it and uh, you can uh, use it to validate on the front end so that you can just save the bandwidth and you know, uh, there will not be uh, uh, it just the request will not go to the server, server and the file will be executed and according to the user get prompt, you can just do it in the front end as well. So that's it today guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. So don't, so don't forget to like, subscribe and don't sorry, we are stay happy and love to learn new life accelerating te uh, technical difficulties. Bye bye.